Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to compare and contrast DNA and RNA. First of all, both DNA and RNA are nucleic acids and involved in the storage and use of hereditary information. Let's start with the fact that DNA is a double-stranded molecule while RNA is only single-stranded. This means that DNA has two sugar phosphate backbones and base pairs in the middle, while RNA only has one sugar phosphate backbone with the bases coming off of the sugar molecule. The sugar is different between a DNA nucleotide and RNA nucleotide. DNA contains the sugar deoxyribose and RNA the sugar ribose. The bases are slightly different. DNA contains adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, while RNA contains uracil instead of thymine, with adenine, cytosine, and guanine being the same. DNA, there's only one kind. DNA is DNA is DNA. On the other hand, RNA comes in three different forms, messenger RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA. Just a quick review on the difference between the three types. Messenger RNA is involved in copying the information in a gene during transcription and taking that information to the cytoplasm to a ribosome where it can be translated into a protein. tRNA is transcribed from the DNA but then moves to the cytoplasm and is involved in picking up amino acids and bringing the correct amino acids to the ribosome during translation. rRNA is transcribed in the nucleus and then leaves the nucleus and becomes part of the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. The last thing you want to focus on are the base pairing rules with DNA and RNA. The base pairing rules for DNA are A pairs with T and C pairs with G. Adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. The base pairing rules for RNA are similar except there's no thymine. So adenine pairs with uracil and cytosine pairs with guanine and vice versa. Reviewing this table will help you understand the similarities and differences between DNA and RNA. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the bio train.